Good morning all, I hope you are well. Well, just a short chat this morning. I'm currently smoking my Ascorti. This is a Christmas pipe from 1997. Really nice pipe. It's sort of a mix of smooth and rusticated. I just like the way this smooth band goes all the way underneath. It's a silver godet which looks like it's been hand hammered. Interesting. Um, and it's just a really, really good smoking pipe. I haven't smoked it in a while. And uh, what I'm smoking this morning is some Peretti's number eight flake from 2017. This was recommended to me again by Dale Piper last night during a uh, Zoom session. Um, I've had this in my uh, top of door probably since around 2018, I would imagine. I don't recall who sent me this bag. Um, I had, I think I had some, I ordered um, a few Ferretti blends a while back. Um, but um, I'm not a huge fan of Burley, as I'm sure you know. Um, so I didn't really take to any of them. Um, I don't recall what I thought of the number eight flake at the time. I may well have a video on my channel, I don't know. But I feel like I may want to do another video of this tobacco because I'm really enjoying it at the moment. It's really delicious. I don't know if the, um, you know, the three and a half years has made a difference, I'm sure it has. But it's very, very tasty. Um, thank you for that, John. Well, I'm currently in the middle of packing up pipes. I'm trying to get as many as I can shipped off today. And any that are left will end up going Monday or Tuesday next week. Well, Tuesday probably. It's a Passover weekend this week. So um, it's um, I'm gonna be out of touch until Monday night. So I definitely won't be going to the post office on Monday. Um, I've got uh, what have we got here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. I've got about 10, 12 pipes already packed up, and I've still got another few to go. Um, but I'm hoping to get as many as possible done today. Um, so there won't be any London calling this weekend. No live stream on Saturday night. Uh, instead, we'll be sitting at the Seder table with the family. So I want to take this opportunity to wish everybody, anybody that celebrates it, a happy Passover. Enjoy your time with your family. It's always a good time, no matter which religion you have, but any time you can get together with family and sit around the table and spend quality time together, it's, it's a value for everybody. So I wish you well. Enjoy your uh, celebrations. And it's as good a time as any to say thank you to everybody on the YTPC for all your continued support for those who have bought a pipe, who have actually made my pipe making journey a possibility. Um, you know, your your support has enabled me to essentially provide for my family over the past year or so. So I'm grateful to you all. And even if you haven't bought a pipe, the support, the comments, the interactions have been amazing. Um, there's a whole a bunch of uh, people who regularly um, join me in the making of a pipe on, during the live sessions and, um, and we've become quite a, a regular unit and uh, I'm really grateful to all of you um, that take part. Um, it's, it's, um, it's a big part of my day so I appreciate it. Thank you very very much. Um, I've taken to on my pouches now signing the pouches um, so the regular one stars and two stars will look like that but three star and above will actually get the stars on them as well so this is a three star pouch and I just think it's a nice personal touch um, I actually packed up a four star pipe earlier on um, so that had four stars on it um, so that's going to be from now on pouches will be um, 
marked with the stars. Um, I think I'll do that on the ones and twos as well. There's no reason why not come to think of it. Um, so um, some of the ones that I've, I've already packed up may not have it because I sort of came up with the idea in the middle of doing the packing. Um, so um, if you missed out on that, then maybe next time. Um, other than that, I had one of the uh, cigars that I got in a couple of days ago. Uh, I started doing a video on the um, Carrillo Encore. Um, I haven't actually smoked one, but I did an introductory, an introductory video, which I'll add on to the video when I do actually smoke one of them. Um, really nice looking uh, cigar, but I did smoke one of my Monte Cristo Petit Number no. 2s. Haven't smoked one of those probably in a couple of years. What a cigar. Um, I believe, given some of the videos that I've seen um, on uh, some of the cigar videos, I think for 2020, the yield from Cuba has been, it's, it's considered one of the good years. Um, most years are good, but some are more, some are better, than, some are gooder <laughs> than others. And I think 2020 has been a good year. Um, so this, uh, the, the cigar that I got, the Monte Cristo Petit Number no. 2 is from, I think, November 2020. So it's not that old, uh, but it's smoking fantastic. What a great cigar, considering its youth. I was very, very impressed. Um, and I'm almost tempted um, to get some more, but um, I got stiffed big time by customs. Um, you know, so I don't know. It's gonna be a big decision because at the moment, the way things are, packages are, are getting stopped left, right, and center, and they're getting whacked with full-blown customs and excise duty. So we shall have to see what the future holds. I'm hoping that things will settle down. Um, and uh, parcels will get through. You know, before Brexit and before, um, I don't know if it's got anything to do with COVID or not, but the parcels used to get through, and I would say that maybe five to 10% of parcels would get stuck in customs and the rest would get through. Um, but now um, it's a much higher percentage, at least in my experience. So we shall have to see, I don't know. It's, it's uh, something we're gonna have to play it by ear. Okay, well, I think that's essentially it for today, um, for now at least. Um, as I say, I'll be incommunicado until Monday night. Um, the Sabbath starts Friday evening tonight, and then Passover starts on Saturday night. So the first two days of Passover are Sunday and Monday. Then we have a, a little sort of semi-festival, which starts again over next weekend. So there won't be any London calling next weekend either. Uh, and there won't be any pipe making until the following week after. So we're looking at around 10 days before I get back into the workshop making pipes. Um, uh, so, so if you still want to get an LCS pipe, you can have a look on, on my website, lcsbriars.com. There's still a few left. Um, a lot of them have sold over the past couple of days. I've been running a, a pretty good sale um, with some real reductions. Um, you can see the original prices on there and the reduced price. Um, and they've, uh, the pipes have been going. Um, so, as I say, I have, I think, at the moment, um, several pipes left on the website. I've got a few more that I need to put on the website. Um, but um, if you're interested, do head on to lcsbrides.com. Anyhow, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this bowl. Uh, it's been very tasty. Um, but for now, I wish you all a wonderful weekend. And I will catch you on the next one.